back to the bright side, Macy here, the bright side girl, and today we're doing the Christmas song book tag. So once again, you can't see <laughs> my fun attire, but I have this little like Christmas tree hat, and I've got like a reindeer sweater, and I'm ready to go. So this tag was created over by Haley in Bookland a long time ago, like five years ago. And I have never done it before, so I decided to go ahead and do it. So how this works is that she has paired popular Christmas songs with books. So you'll get the hang of it here once I get going, so we'll just get started. So the first tag is You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Name a villainous character that you couldn't help but love. So for that one, I'm going to cheat just a little bit, and I'm going to go with Lord Ballister Blackheart from the graphic novel Nimona, because he is literally a villain, but not a villain. At the same time, he's morally gray. And I love him. This is absolutely one of my favorite books of all time. And I'm not even that big of a graphic novel person, but oh my gosh, it's so good. It's just so good. Question number two is, all I want for Christmas is you name a book that you would love to see under the Christmas tree. Ooh, I really don't think I'm getting any books for Christmas for a couple of reasons. One, I do massive book hauls and everyone knows it and I absolutely do not need any books. Period. Don't need anything. And because I have so many books, my family is scared to buy any books and I don't really like people to pay full price for books for me because I will probably eventually be able to find it or trade for it for way less so I'd rather them save their money <laughs> and spend it somewhere else. I do know one of my bookish friends is sending me a book for Christmas that I'm pretty excited about. My husband used to buy me these beautiful, like I have them up here, classic books from Barnes & Noble, but I told him not to get me any of this year because I only read like one or two as opposed to the year before, which I read like 10. So I was like, yeah, you can get me those because I read them really fast. One that I would really, really like to see under the tree is probably the Harry, the fourth Harry Potter illustrated book. That would be one book that I'm not going to find discounted very easily. I'm not going to be able to trade for it. And I feel like people can get me that comfortably. So that's the one that I would like to see. Number three is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a character that overcomes some obstacles and becomes to believe in themselves. I absolutely have to pick Jess from I Am Still Alive. This is about a girl who goes to spend, I think, a winter or something like that with her dad in his cabin in the woods and he's like a wilderness survival guy and a bunch of stuff goes down and she winds up having to survive on her own and she overcomes so much for knowing nothing and I love this book. It was really great if you like those types of reads. The next song is Santa Claus is Coming to Town, a character that would be on the nice list and for that one I'm gonna go a little strange and I'm gonna pick Citra Terranova from the Scythe series. This is such a wonderful series. I love it so much. It literally just does something to my soul. And I don't know what that says about me because it's really dark. <laughs> but I love it so much. This is set in a futuristic world. It's sort of dystopian, sort of utopian, sort of sci-fi where we don't die and we've learned to heal diseases and recover from accidents and death and all kinds of things. And so we have established the Scythedom, which are basically people that go and kill people to help with surplus population. And there's a whole like order around it. And Citra and Rowan are Scythes in training. If you've read this first book, you know why Citra's on the nice list. I just love her and I think she's so great. So Faraday, he can be on the nice list too. Next is Frosty the Snowman, a book that melts your heart. For that one, we're gonna go holiday themed and do what my true love gave to me. These are 12 holiday stories by some of our favorite authors, edited by Stephanie Perkins. We've got Holly Black, Allie Carter, David Levithan, Stephanie Perkins, Lainey Taylor, Kirsten White. And I read this last winter and I'm gonna reread it via audiobook this year. I love this so much. I loved almost every single story, at least a small amount. I just love holiday tales. There was a lot of romance in here. But there was also awesome stuff like Holly Black's story is actually like a fey Christmas story involving Krampus, which was really cool and super different. And then there's some other things in here that are just super magical and everything you want at Christmas time. So the next song is Feliz Navidad, a book that is sent in a country that is not your own. For that one, I'm going to go with Three Dark Crowns. <laughs> um, this is set on the Isle of Fenburn, which I don't think is a real place and technically probably not a country because it's an island. But we're going to pick it anyway because I love it. And this is one of my all-time favorite series. It's about three sisters that are supposed to grow up and fight for the throne. And you're learning all about their different powers and skills because they each have a different skill set and it's magical and dark and rich and mm, it's great. 
Next song is It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. And that was so cheesy. And that means which holiday themed book do you use to spread your Christmas cheer? Honestly, I'm so obnoxious about Christmas and the holidays that I use all of them. But a couple, to name a few, uh, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. This one is set in New York in the Strand Library and there's a scavenger hunt involving books and Christmas and it's great. Also, Afterlife of Holly Chase, probably the best young adult Christmas book retelling of Christmas Carol. <laughs> also, The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, probably the Christmas book that I know the best. The Nutcracker, so many different wonderful ones. I can't, I can't pick one. Next is Sleigh Ride, a character that you would choose to spend your holidays with. And for that one, I'm going to pick every single character in Illuminae. <laughs> Because this, again, is one of my all-time favorite series, and I literally just keep thinking about this book still, and it's been over a year since I've read it, and I need to reread it, but oh, I love all of these characters. They're a ragtag team. It's a sci-fi book. It's told in different formats. It's amazing. I go on and on about it all the time, and yeah, I think spending my Christmas with everyone from this series would be like really fun and hilarious. This one is Baby It's Cold Outside. Which book would you sacrifice to the fire to keep yourself warm? Of course, we're not about promoting burning books on this channel, but I have had a few books that I have hated this year. So I'm actually gonna go with Toil and Trouble, which is an anthology, a witchy anthology. I really did not enjoy this one and I kind of forced myself to finish it and it, otherwise I would have DNF'd it and I, I didn't like it at all and I would have no problem using that if necessary. Next one is do you hear what I hear? And for that one I'm going to go again with Illuminae. I'm sorry I'm repeating it but this is just one of my favorite series. I think it's a great starter series. I would recommend listening to it on audio while you read it because the audiobook is a full cast recording and it's just so good. I feel like it's a good one for like guys that don't like to read a lot or girls as well. Just I don't know, adults, everyone. It's it's amazing. This one is Where Are You Christmas? A book that you want immediately but isn't out yet. Ooh, this is a really good one. Um, unfortunately, most of my really favorite series right now are wrapping up. I have a new book that I think is gonna wind up being the start of my new favorite series. And so I want the second book to Fate of the Fallen by Kel Callan. I don't think that there's a title out yet or anything about it. It's a new, I think adult, fantasy book and it's a twist on the chosen one and oh it is just so good if you want to hear me rave about it then go and watch my November wrap up I'll link that up here in the cards for you guys but it's one of my favorite fantasy series already and it's only got one book and I literally cannot wait for the next one and I, I have no clue when it's coming out either so I'm upset and the next song is Last Christmas, a book you started off liking and wound up not really liking. That one I'm gonna go with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Again, I read this like two years ago. I really love Stephanie Perkins' writing style. I just did not enjoy a certain aspect that happens in this book. It's a theme, it's a trope for some contemporary books that I absolutely hate and so I wound up really not liking it at all because it just... I didn't like it and it's a spoiler so I can't tell you about it. I'm very sorry but I think you might know what I'm talking about. If not you can DM me on Instagram. Next up is Blue Christmas, a book that made you cry. I don't think that I have cried this year over a book. I would say the closest that I came is my reread of Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. There's just something that happens with a certain character in that book and you guys won't even know what I'm talking about because it's just unusual that I would cry, but I totally did. I cried a little bit. I even cried the first time, but a little bit more the second time. That's probably the only one that got me. Like none of the other ones really got me in any way. I'm not a big book crier, apparently. And the last one is It's a Marshmallow World That We Live In. And that would be to pick a fluffy book. And I really honestly don't read a lot of fluffy books. Like I need to read more, but I am very picky when it comes to my contemporary, so I am going to go with Austin Land by Shannon Hale. It's about a woman in her 30s who is unmarried and she's upset about it and she decides to go on a trip to Austin Land, which is a Jane Austen themed, like, I don't want to say theme park, but it's like a castle slash experience and there's all these actors that are Jane Austen style and she can't have her phone and all this stuff and oh, it was so good. It was so good and if you need a 
reading slump breaker. This is great, and it was an awesome audiobook. The second one was great. They were so fluffy and they were so fun. The movie was adorable. It was just an amazing rom-com goodness. I loved it so much. I will probably be rereading it next year. Okay, so that is all for this super long book tag. If you're watching this video, you are tagged. Feel free to make this book tag. It's really, really fun. I like to do book tags around the holiday season and have a great time. So I hope you guys are having a festive holiday season no matter what you're celebrating and you're just filled with love and joy and I will see you guys next time on the right side. Bye! I have a new favorite series that I think is gonna, I think the next one is Baby It's, ooh, the next, a country, ugh, which book do you, holiday themed, blah, also, oop, 